If you've been doing some research about using a cache plugin on your WordPress website, this video is gonna be a lifesaver for you today. Because by the end of this video, you will know seven important tips to make the most out of caching. But first, why is caching so essential for WooCommerce? Well, if you didn't know, caching improves the speed and performance of your WordPress website, built with WooCommerce. It helps your e-commerce store to load more quickly by reducing the amount of data transfer between the browser and the server. Caching saves a static version of your site so it can be displayed faster on each subsequent visit. According to Google, site speed is a top priority for online shoppers too, because every 20 second delay in mobile page load can make conversions fall by up to 20%. And if that's not enough to make you think caching and site speed is important, another research conducted by Portent a few years ago says that the highest e-commerce conversion rates occur on pages with load times between zero and two seconds. Now, it's important that you note that WooCommerce does not cache content out of the box. You will need to install a WordPress caching plugin that will help do the job for you. For example, you could use WP Rocket, which is the number one WordPress caching plugin and automatically enabling 80% of the web performance best practices upon installation. So now that you know that, let's get into seven tips regarding caching. Number one is you need to enable page and browser caching. As mentioned earlier in the video, page caching stores a page's HTML on the initial page load to serve the same static content for the next visits. As a result, every visitor will notice a significant increase in the site speed. As we mentioned earlier, WRocket is one of the best WordPress caching plugins that will automatically enable page caching to WooCommerce. Number two, enable object caching. To unload the server and the database, you can implement object caching on WooCommerce using Redis or Memcache. These tools are highly popular and store the loaded query results. Therefore, the next time they are needed, they can be loaded from the cache instead of the server. That reduces the round trip time between the server and the data, meaning better performance for your WooCommerce website. Number three, include opcode caching. According to php.net, Opcode caching improves performance by storing PHP in shared memory, removing the need for PHP to load and parse scripts on every request. If you optimize your PHP, you'll also optimize your page speed overall as WordPress and WooCommerce are built on this code. Number four, set up Varnish Cache. Varnish Cache is an HTTP reverse proxy that makes page load time 300 to 1000 times faster. It's a piece of software that you put in front of your server to reduce the loading times of your website by caching the server's output. The only inconvenience is that to install it, you need to be familiar with the configuration files and command lines of your terminal. Number five, reduce or cache API calls. Your WooCommerce site may need to call third-party apps like Facebook, YouTube, or PayPal, which could impact the site's loading speed. To reduce those API calls, you can use the WP Rocket Helper API plugin or the WordPress Transients API. Number six, optimize CSS and JS files. Another performance optimization along with caching is to minify, defer, and reduce unused CSS and JS files. While you can conduct these code improvements manually, you could also use a plugin just like WP Rocket and check a few boxes and you're good to go. It's also important to note that WooCommerce does not recommend minifying JS so we suggest you exclude WooCommerce scripts from the minification process. Thankfully, most caching plugins allow you to easily exclude WooCommerce scripts when you select the minify JS option. For instance, here's what it looks like when that comes to WP Rocket. Number seven, use a CDN. CDNs also use caching to distribute content faster to users located around the world. They use edge servers to cache the data, store it temporarily, and display it to the closest international visitors. That results in a faster site because the content does not need to come from the origin server. There are many CDNs available in the market, but if you want one that's fully integrated with WordPress that does the configuration for you, try out Rocket CDN. And those are our seven tips. So if this video has helped you, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you wanna get easy and effective web forms tips, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter, also linked below. Now, if you wanna learn more about speeding up your website to make sure you're not losing out on customers, check out this playlist right here. Goodbye and have a good day.